A new report is showing the massive economic damage the pandemic has caused for Colorado's arts industry. Events were put on hold, venues sat empty, and even afterwards, capacities were limited. It's a painful story in 2019 before the pandemic. The arts generated $2.3 billion in our state as the state saw record-breaking activity levels. Last year, that was down to $1.5 billion, nearly a $1 billion lost. CBS 4's Alan Janae digging into this. Alan, the good news is tonight, a sure sign behind you that things seem to be picking up. Isn't that nice, Jim? We're here along Santa Fe tonight. The galleries are opening. Peter, people are out. You've got uh, Day of the Dead celebrations in Mexican Mama culture. Booey, these how folks, it not you, but these guys right here who are really a class act and fabulously outfitted. You know, the culture is here. The art is here. But remember, we lost really a decade's worth of arts growth in the metro area and a lot of engagement in the earlier part of the pandemic. <laughs> It was a Dia de los Muertos party, in a way, along Santa Fe. Incredible costumes and children sharing culture. The dead, celebrate the, the dead, the dead. People are coming back. So I did a couple major pieces here, including this painting here. Artist Emmanuel Martinez notices not everything, though, is the same. Not fully, no, because I, I notice there's a, a lot of the people here are more of the younger crowd. Older art lovers tend to have the money to be buyers. The Business Committee for the Arts found Colorado went so far downhill, there's a long way to climb back. Is it going to be in the same numbers it was pre-pandemic? I think, I think it's, we're not there yet. Performers like dance director Julio Garcia feel it. Representar nuestras culturas. Uh, he said that uh, COVID um, set back a lot of uh, dancing groups or company dancing groups, um, and they're working their way their way back to to grow again. Kristen Crampton Day knows the study out this week only takes us up to last year. Some elements may come back quicker. But I think we're all learning to live with COVID differently, um, and that's including how we consume our arts and culture. But it won't be going away. Yeah, it's very good to see people coming out now and, uh, and appreciating uh, all the work that we put into the show. What may be slowest to come back, says Crampton Day, may be some of those big seated venues, maybe the DCPA, the symphony, the ballet. But they've been very innovative in recent years in trying to program to a different demographic. This is yet another challenge. By the way, the dancers tomorrow, the Day of the Dead folks, they're going to be performing as well as the Botanic Gardens tomorrow. So if you missed them tonight, you can get out there and see them then. In Denver, I'm Alan Janae, covering Colorado First. And looking a bit underdressed, Alan. Great job. Tonight's festivities officially kicked off Denver Arts Week tomorrow, a free night at the museums. To check out more of the events back to in-person this year, just go to cbsdenver.com.